Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the PMT function, the IPMT function, and the PPMT function. So what these three different functions do is they show you a payment amount, or they calculate a payment amount based on your period, at least the IPMT does and the PPMT does. What the PMT function is, regardless of what period it um, is it calculates the payment that you have to give out. So in this particular scenario, I'm, what I'm going to use is an example of a loan. Let's say that you decide to loan somebody some money, or maybe you're a real estate investor and basically you have some property and someone wants to buy it from you, and you decide to become a, like a bank and you are loaning them money to buy something, uh, maybe a piece of property, and the term is going to be five years, and the interest payment or the payment is going to be on a monthly basis and the payment is due at the end of the month and let's say for example you have a 3% annual interest that you're going to charge and the number of payments will be 60 because we the periods for five years and let's say for example the loan that we're going to send give out is ten thousand dollars so let's say what we're going to do is we're going to minus ten thousand dollars out of our pocket we're going to loan somebody ten thousand dollars and the PMT, IPMT, and the PPMT functions, they're going to describe what we're going to get back, or they're going to calculate what we're going to get back. Now let's try the PMT function first. So to use the PMT function, we have to type equal, PMT, open parentheses. The rate is going to be this rate. This is a annual interest rate, and so what we need to do, since we are looking at interest on the monthly basis, is we have to divide that by 12. And then our next argument is going to be the number of periods. So since this is going to be for five years, five times 12 is 60. So we have to calculate it per month. So that's why we already calculated here in cell D11. The next argument is going to be the present value, the value that uh, is going to be calculated. So it's minus 10,000 because we are loaning somebody $10,000. So that's going to come out of our pocket. And that's all we need for this particular PMT function. I'm going to close the parentheses and press return. And what we're going to expect to get back every month is $179.69. Well, let's find out how much of that's going to be interest and how much of that's going to be principal. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type equal IPMT and open parentheses. The rate is going to be the same here, 3% divided by 12 since we're looking at a monthly interest payment and then the period so this is a little bit different let's say for example what we want to find out in our 60 months at the end of the year the 12th month how much of that particular payment is going to be interest so we're going to use the 12 here it, you can change this number to any other number it could be 6 it could be 5 that's why we have the IPMT function here what it does is it calculates based on the period what the interest we're going to get back for that particular period. Now, the payment function stays the same because that's expecting a payment, the same payment throughout the whole payment cycle. But we're looking at the interest and the principles, which differs during each payment period. So for this particular period, let's say the 12th month, the end of the first year, that particular month, what are we going to get back? So the third argument here is going to be number of periods, which is going to be the same here, 60 basically 5 times 12 again. And what our present value is, this is our $10,000 that we've loaned out. So when I close parentheses and I press return, we're going to get $20.69. So at month 12 out of our 60 months, our interest is going to be $20.69. Let's find out what the principal is. So the principal basically takes the same arguments, but using the PPMT for function, PPMT, open parentheses, our rate is going to be our 3% divided by 12 again for the months and the year. And then our period, we're going to use the 12th month in that period. Our third argument is going to be the number of periods, which is 60, basically 5 times 12 uh, for our 60 months. And then for the present value, it's going to be $10,000 that that's leaving our pockets. Now you notice, probably notice that there's other arguments here, the FV, the future value, and the type. Since these are enclosed in square brackets, these are not required. They're optional, and we don't require them here in this particular function. So what we're going to do is close the parentheses, press return, and we have 158.99. So basically, out of this payment, the principal amount is 158.99. The interest that we're going to get back is 20.69. So if I selected 
these particular cells, you notice that the sum equals 179.69, which is our payment here. So every month we're going to get this money back, but depending on which month these will change. Let's, let's say at the end of the second year, that's the 24th month, what we're going to see now is a difference. The interest payment is $15.86 and the principal is $163.83. However, if I selected these two, A, they should still equal the sum of $179.69 and it does. So that's how we use the PMT function, the IPMT function, and the PPMT function. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.